you may think that if you have some sequence of functions, fn, then if you calculate the limit, then you integrate, that should be the same thing as if you integrated and then calculated the limit. And this is as n goes to infinity here. That's actually not true. And here's why. If you look at these examples. So the first example will be basically a function that's 1 when x is between n and n plus 1, and it's 0 otherwise. So if you graph it, it'll look sort of like it will be 0 everywhere, and then there will be like a little bump. It will keep on being 0. And as n gets bigger and bigger, this bump just moves to the right. Another function is It's equal to n when x is between 0 and 1 over n, and it's equal to 1 otherwise, or 0 otherwise, sorry. And here, this function is basically, it's like, starts off with a bump, and then it's a bump that's twice as tall, but also twice as narrow, and it keeps on getting taller and narrower and spikier, and yeah, try and Calculate both of these things and see if you get the same thing.